new breeding blitz time so it is indeed monday we do have a brand new breeding blitz that includes an ancient dragon so crunchy here is not going to be an easy dragon to get a hold of uh because to be able to actually breed this dragon you first of all need the meteorite dragon which is the dragon of the week the combo for that being the cyborg and mud but obviously the harder part of that combo is going to be the Oira Dragon. Because Oira is of course the ancient out of the ancient chess. So Oira plus Meteorite here. You don't have great odds for Crunchy because there's going to be 34 possible other outcomes for this and then obviously you've got the chance of breeding an ancient which is not very high so it is going to be below a one percent chance below 0.8 in fact to actually breed oira unless there's some sort of extra boost on the breeding this week which i have not seen confirmed yet but either way 34 other possible outcomes but for anyone that is lucky enough to breed crunchy you know power to you and crunchy does have a 17 hour 36 minute breeding time with vip so if we turn vip off that is a 22 hour breeding time regularly which is actually not shared with any other dragon which is actually kind of wild that out of all of these outcomes it doesn't actually share one which is pretty cool so um best of luck to everyone going for him and for anyone that does have bonus tickets remaining well, this is going to be the time to spend them. We've also got the Bottomless Dungeon, which this week is giving bonus tickets. So you're going to be wanting to go through uh, finishing as many rounds in the dungeon as you can, opening all the chests, getting bonus tickets. Because this is going to be the week where you find out whether your luck sucks or not. So um, I'm going to open some chests now and we'll see how our luck goes for today. Uh, I still need Tropic, obviously, if it wants to give me Oira as well, it can, uh, but probably not going to happen. But you've only got this week to actually get Oira, because it does end in 6 days and 21 hours from now. So we'll see. We'll see how our opening luck goes this time around. Again, if we can at least get Tropic, I will be somewhat okay with that. That is a lot of legendary cards. That's like almost all legendary. How many is that? Times 10, times 10, times 10. That is what I like to see. Obviously, getting ancient pieces is also great because every time you get an ancient piece, that could technically be a full drop. But considering that I already got a huge drop for Oira, probably not going to happen. Again, there's being hopeful, and then there's... um hoping for a 1 in 50,000 drop chance. And then again, another times 10. The game is trying to make me feel like I'm going to get Tropic right here. Tropic! Tropic! Come on, all I'm asking is for one chonky boy. I'm not asking for a lot again. Or a 500 piece. Also not asking for a lot, of course. Um... I think I might leave an extra 10 though for any of our potential daily quest bonuses. So I'll leave a an extra 10. Apart from that, that should be all that we need for the rest of the Dragon Board event, hopefully. And obviously we'll earn some more through the week. A duplicate Bromelia. I'm actually gonna take the dragon because I don't have a duplicate in my inventory. And you never know, maybe Bromelia will come back again in the future as a collection dragon. In which case, we're going to want at least one of her so that we can hatch it in future. Because that has happened before with various events. So then we've got a times 24 sunset, which has basically just been chest filler this whole time. Come on, game. It's been a lot of chests now. It's been a lot of chests. Chonky boy. Chonky boy. Oh, we're two away. Stop giving me pieces for these epics. I don't want them now. Ay caramba, game. Ay caramba. One legendary piece. It's probably not a tropic. Let's have a look. Times one. We're one away. We're one away. This has to be it. Has to be it. This is where we get times a hundred. And I scream. Wonderful. 
So there we go. That is Mr. Legendary Tropic Dragon acquired. Nice. -o. I do like his little water effects on his belly there. Lovely. So we did mostly get Tropic through times one pieces. Again, more times tens. Because this game is just painful. Three more pieces for Ira. And let's open some of these bonus chests. What do we get? Absolutely diddly squat. Nice! So, I, I, fine, we'll open the one extra chest. And it is an ancient, isn't it? No. Why does it do the swirly thing if it's not even an ancient piece anymore? Disappointing. If I open one more, I get more pieces. I don't care. So, we've opened a lot of chests now. And through all of those chest openings just then, we got pretty much zero pieces for Oira. So we didn't even make it halfway up to now. Uh, obviously with Dungeon Week this week we might get too halfway for Oira, but we are nowhere near even close to being done for Oira. So that's probably what I would expect most people to roughly be at. Again, give or take some luck here or there. Um, but I guess we might as well throw the egg into our hatchery because new legendary, new meat. Very nice. So there's the two days that we're going to have to wait on that boy. And we will hop you over there, feed you up, get the points. And we did actually finish up the pair-up solo event. I did end up gemming a couple of the rounds just because it was quite cheap. And it was like, yeah, I'm not going to wait another four and a half hours for this final reset to finish off. Of course, we've still got the Dragon Board event stuff going on. But today is the big day because we're finally getting pieces for that legendary princess dragon. So we're going to get those out of doing diagonals. So I really do want to get this dragon. And plus, we do get 15 tickets just for a full house. So it's going to be a pretty good idea to get our hands on it. So I, I guess we'll just sit here and uh, get the get the daily bingo done. Um, I mean, mainly, as always, it's mainly about getting the right numbers for the green tiles. Uh, they're the most annoying. Plus, we can get double trouble stuff, although I'm on chapter 13 and I am starting to really struggle to actually do these fights um, because this game just doesn't want anyone to ever be able to do any of its events, apparently. So, we'll see. We'll see. Um, we do still need Yellow Crown as well. So, we've got another 40 pieces to go for Yellow Crown whenever we happen to get those. We'll get those at some point. But, at least we've got Tropic. Uh, any ancients are extremely unlikely, but a game. If you want to give them, go ahead. It's like, at this point, it's like we've put in like a solid three weeks worth of effort already into this event. And the most that a lot of people have to show for it is like one rare and one epic. Which considering it's an entire month worth of effort pretty much coming up, it seems a little bit underwhelming, don't you think? And plus, I saw that with their uh, community challenge on Facebook where you had to like take pictures of the green tiles so that then the community could earn bonus points. Yeah, that didn't go too well. Uh, we only hit the first milestone. So, um, yeah, it seems like the community is pretty unhappy with this event as a whole. Uh, are Gameloft actually going to listen? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, they've been seeing it for weeks now, the complaints, and yet they did nothing for this event. So if you think that they're actually... Why, Why does it say 3 out of 3 on the left and 2 out of 3 here? I'm so confused. And now I've got visual bugs. Anything else? Anything else? <laughs> it's like I mentioned one complaint and then the game's like, no, you've got another 7 to complain about. It's like, okay. If that's what you want, I can do that. Um... But nah, this, this Princess Dragon does bring back bad memories of just missing out on Legends even in the past. And again, the complaints about the events being too difficult is not even new. We've been doing it for years and they just keep making them more difficult. Oh well. Oh well. Um, a 4 and a 6, a 2 and a 1 is what we need for this green tile. So a 2 and a 1, that'll do us here. A 2 and a 1. Come on, game. You know you want to give me a two. Um, how long will it take for a two? 
That's a three, because we don't need a three. We need a two or a one. I just need to remind myself. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll go for a two and then land with a one. Lovely, lovely. But yeah, most of the points end up getting spent just trying to re-roll on the singular numbers. But I'm pretty much going to be able to complete every single bingo for the rest of the week now. So I'm just going to be doing every single daily bingo. I've done that for the last few days now. No reason not to. It's like at first I was being really selective just so that I could build up the event currency so that then when we did have uh, the boards like this that actually have cool stuff, I didn't have to worry about maybe hitting it. So if we go on here then we need to hit a four. 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 That was quite nice. Thank you, game. Um, I'm not even going to hit the blue. I'm going to take a purple there because I think that gives us more. And now we need to actually worry about hitting the purples. Oh boy. But yeah, I do feel for people that have just been using their event currency this whole event, like worrying every day about hitting the, the numbers that they need and getting lucky. Because ugh, some people have spent like 14,000, 15,000 trying to finish some boards if they get unlucky. And it's just like, dude, that sucks. It sucks. Uh, what do we need? Uh, four? No, we need a three. I'm just going to re-roll this into a three. Three. You know, I actually would have liked that. Rip. But they should just make it that if you hit a number once and you re-roll, you should just not be able to hit that number again with that same dice. That would make this feel 2 billion percent e like, nicer. No one else agree? Maybe it's just me. I just feel like if they just did that simple change, like when you re-roll, you can't hit the same number again until you've like clicked to move with that tile. That would make it so much nicer. I get it that it's not really going to be a dice roll then if one of the if one of the sides is just not an option. But man, two, three, four, five. So what do we need here? Like a. Yeah, I guess we'll just hit a six, whatever. We'll try and hit the numbers that we need over on the far side. We'll hit this green tile, get another purple key. You know, I'm sure most people get the gist of all of this by now. But what do we have? A six or a two? So one, two, three, four, five, six. If we hit a six here, that is going to hit that tile. Then we get double perps, but we're only going to count for one anyway. Nice. Again, if it gives us a 500 for a Motu, That'd be pretty cool. Uh, we don't need a four, we need a two or a five. Um, if we re-roll this to not a four, then we need a two, so if we wait for a two... There we go, there's another one down. So it is somewhat tactical, but when the whole thing is based on how lucky you get for certain rolls to hit a certain tile, you know, a lot of the skill is just completely taken away from it. But that's pretty much the case with everything DML. Doesn't surprise me. Um, this is actually what we need. Alright, no it's not. So we'll hit that one. We need to be two away, which means we need to be on that yellow tile. Uh, we need to hit two twos in a row. There's one two. Now, another two. I swear, it sounds so random when it's just like one, two, 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 three, two. <laughs> sounds like I'm going insane sometimes. A two. A two. You see how much cheaper it would be if they just limited the amount of times you can see a specific number pop up? It would make this so much nicer. That's my main complaint going into these events anyway. I just wish that something in DML was a little bit more player friendly. So it just feels like it's getting worse. Not that that's new news to anyone. But I don't like complaining. It might it might not sound like that, but I really don't. So one, two, three, four, five, so we're gonna have to It is a five that we're looking for, right? It is. So I need a single one and a five. That is exactly what we got. Okay. Nice. 
that is going to do us for this whole thing. There we go. All those pieces. 50 minus ancient tickets. Not too bad. So there is that daily bingo done skis for now. We do also have milestones. So in 3,000, we're going to get another 20 tickets. You know what? Why don't we just do that? Why don't we just do it? Because we don't have much use for these. Otherwise, I might as well re-roll for a two here to hit the purple key. Usually not worth doing this, but we're so close. Is this game just going to make me pay out tons of money now for the sake of it? Just to make me regret wanting to get a two here? Of course it does this after the bingo card's done for the day. Threes! I almost clicked that again, I would have screamed. <laughs> There we go. All for one extra piece. Look at that. We're at 192 out of 200 chests for Yellow Crown. So I think we're literally going to open up 200 chests for Yellow Crown before we actually get all the pieces for him. And then for Mimoshi, we've done 120 so far. And that's with 53,000-ish sort of left, which is going to be a little bit less in a second. But, you know, outside of re-rolling for the sake of completing the daily bingo. It's actually a lot better for getting double trouble because obviously when you're re-rolling the dices you don't get the bonus points. See, why is it saying four out of three? I can't tell how many keys I actually have because the game keeps breaking. Whatever. But yeah, it is better to, if you're going for double trouble, just to never re-roll things just so that you can hope to get the double troubles instead, but you know, I like the daily bingos, or I like some of the rewards for the daily bingos, is what I should say. So we do that. How many are we away? Another 2,000. I keep like overestimating how many points I'm actually spending here. Because if you're not thinking about it, you just sort of go through all of your event currency like straight away, but if you've been like really careful about when you spend it, not trying to spend more than you need every day. It actually takes a little while. It's like when I finally decide to spend all 52,000, it's probably going to take a good while to get through it all. We got that, times one, of course, of course. I just cannot wait to have to open up all 200 chests before I actually get yellow crown. Luck, dude. Luck. So we're here, we're at 51 now. Blues, blues, giving bonus points back. Can't they give like water stones back plus something actually cool? That'd be nice. Another singular piece. We get another set of chests to open. What do we get? 196 chests opened. We are now over. So there we go, 10 ancient tickets, another 10 ancient tickets because I was forced to buy that shrine. So that is already going to give us another bonus set. So we're back to 55 tickets. So they are stacking up a little bit this week. Again, we've still got dungeon to do, which I'm not going to bother to do quite yet. Um, and don't forget, we've also got sigil stuff going on. We're probably going to have loads of premium sigil chests that we're going to have to buy over the next few weeks and since we're not going to be stacking up dungeon points or dungeon tokens this week uh, a lot of people are pro probably going to be running low on dungeon tokens like because I didn't do the dungeon last week I just have like zero points so I'm um, running a bit low and plus I bought the double egg relic in the dungeon this week because that can be useful during breeding blitz events and things like that but we'll see. Anywho, we still have a bonsai to try and breed. Oh, and I forgot about this for anyone interested. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, bonsai! Bonsai, bonsai! That is not it. Look, we'll get it eventually. We've only got another seven days. We'll do it. I don't have very long left on this second breeding den either. <laughs> anyway, this has been a very sort of all over the place thing today. Um, good luck with your dungeon stuff. Uh, good luck in the dragon board. It is the last week of dragon board and especially good luck trying to get Oira because, you know, for anyone that does get crunchy, pretty good. Pretty good set of luck you would have needed. 
to get to that point. Because you've got to breed Crunchy and you need to get Oira. So, um, best, best, best of luck to you. And until next time, I do hope that I will see you then.